Hi everyone, welcome to bimmodel.com. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing how to create fire alarm circuits. So, as we discussed in the fire alarm production layout, so in the production circuit, uh, we have to have fire alarms devices. For example, we have to sense the fire. It may be a smoke detector, it may be a flame detector, it may be um, manual pull station. So, the fire should be detected and it should give a uh, notification to the fire protection system which is which is could be a sprinkler system wet or dry system anything it could be so on the other side we have to um, create a siren uh, which alerts the public to evacuate the buildings so that's the uh, major role of this fire alarm circuit um, in the fire alarm as we discussed there are a couple of elements are there fixtures um, so uh, mainly fixtures and fire alarm panels are there so fixtures it could be say um, break glass when the fire appears so we can break the glass and manually alert the people or smoke detector will detect the smoke and it will con it will be sent to the control panel and it will take the announcement or any other necessary actions it will be electrical sprinkler systems are there nowadays so it can be also connected with control panel um, so as we discussed like horns are there and horn emergency service it can automatically dial to uh, nearest uh, fire station so the people can get notified and they can come back so as like this there are many fire alarm components are there only thing is that how to create those families that's the thing and we have to connect that family with this fire alarm panels the circuit will be created that's it very simple task and based on that we'll be creating our circuits in system so to, this is the lighting layout and uh, uh, for creating a fire, fire alarm layout we have to have a new view so create right click and duplicate the existing view with the detailing and I'll, I'm going to rename this as fire and it's not going to be under uh, lighting so we have to change their sub discipline option as fire alarm once it is done we will be having the separate category as fire alarm under the electrical so now we have to place our components for example purpose i'm going to place few elements the remaining elements can be um, created based on your design and you'll be placing them where it requires uh, in my case i'm going to take this option fire alarm from here I have loaded all the families available with Revit and I'm going to place this fire alarm horn um, say for nearby the staircase and I'm going to create in this corner as well and we'll be creating another alarm this side of the wall okay there are three fire alarm components uh, speakers have been placed and I need a smoke detector and the smoke detector if you see that it, it is a face um, based component so we have to place them in face maybe it could be on wall it could be on ceiling so try I'm, I'm trying to place in the floor plan but in in my case i have to place them in the ceiling i'll be using the lighting ceiling layout and i'll be taking the fire alarm device place on face uh, we need one smoke detector in plant room the another toilet for example purpose one on the corridor usually uh, the smoke detector will be placed based on their radius coverage so we have to check the manufacturer's catalog and we have to place them as designed so once these are done we need a fire alarm panels and any other fire alarm device that you need to place so for example manual brake glass and other components necessary components you can place and the connecting processes are very simple so manual pull station let me say if i am uh, i need a manual pull station here by the plant i can connect with that let's go with this component and create a uh, fire alarm panel load the family because i don't have a fire alarm panel by default so let me go ahead and choose mep and it is going to be information and fire alarm 
look for fire alarm panel and let me check fire alarm control panel let's open this i'm going to place this in the plant room in this place on the vertical walls uh, some reason it's not showing uh, let me place this because when we are in ceiling plan so let me close this once placed go to the fire and make sure the electrical equipments are visible VV in the visibility graphics enable that and we have our fire panel in this place and with that we have to connect our systems select the equipment one by one uh, there are three speakers so I have a shortcut for selecting the elements select all visible views there are three elements from this place and use the fire alarm option and select the panel and we have our fire alarm panel here so automatically it will be connected like this so once that is done the other component only one we have fire alarm the panels will be selected by default like this if you need you can create the circuit with the wire but in my case I don't need to create I don't want to create that so smoke detector there are three smoke detectors fire alarm so instead of creating all the smoke detectors at one one time so I'm going to create this uh, smoke detector one by one so for example one and I'm going to select this panel the other one so that we will be able to control and assign the um, control based on the elements that we are connecting based on the room and the space and similarly the other one and fire alarm for this the circuits now these are created and if you see the uh, system browser under the view tab system browser you'll be having electrical fire alarm systems are created here all these fire alarm systems are created with the plant room panel which is available in this place there are five circuits in this elements if you see the first element we have selected as horn all the circuits are in one number one and three elements are there in the circuit one so and what are the common connect uh, elements that you wanted to connect um, you can create a family and you have to uh, place them in the project file and connect them the connections are very simpler and similar to this one thank you so much for watching see you on the next tutorial